Welcome back to Real Fishing 3, the walkthrough. Today we are heading up near the headwaters of what I guess is the Crown River here. The Crown River flows over a 30-foot waterfall, uh, thus trapping these migrating char right here in this deep pool, this deep basin right here. So it's only char available right here, and of course a legend is that there is a gigantic char here. Later on in this game, I guess there are some boss fish that you can unlock in a sequence, kind of a side quest of boss fish. So that is one that won't be here today, but will be here uh, later on in the game. Hopefully we can get a glimpse of it uh, at some point through this series. The goal here, as stated both by the game and by the manual, is to, quote, catch three or four char of 12 inches or more over one foot. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be three or if it's supposed to be four or if maybe it's a random uh, element. Maybe sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four. I don't know. In this playthrough, you're going to see it was three char. Uh, the char were all exactly one foot long. I didn't catch any that were larger than one foot. Maybe that's the maximum size. Maybe they come in only a few different sizes. I am going through the tackle selections here, although we are going to end up back at our own standby, the, the spinner with the two ball spinner. That is kind of my standard for most of these levels so far, at least. Uh, the fly choices, I'm just not as interested in the fly choices. The bait choices, I don't think I'm going to need to use the bait for this one. I think the spinner is going to be fine for me. I'm just looking at the different uh, settings. It's kind of neat that there's a lot of choices of gear. And uh, between levels, which you're not seeing in this series because I'm not sure how uh, excited they would be to, to throw in. Uh, between days when you go fishing, you get letters from the, uh, the fishing master. Generally, they're just little tips. But uh, as you progress through the game, you also get uh, equipment that unlocks. And that happens in Real Fishing uh, 1 and 2 as well. As you play through the game, you get better equipment just sort of by a hidden counter, I guess, or a hidden timer. That uh, more time spent fishing, you unlock better equipment, which lets you catch a bigger fish. So I've gotten more lures and more choices. Our first char there was the juvenile char, and it was another instant hook set landing. Um, in here, it seems like some of those smaller ones that happens, that still doesn't explain back in the first level where I caught the uh, large, the Florida largemouth bass that way. So we're not going to see every char that I catch in this pool, but this pool has become one that you there that I was able to rely a little bit more on sight fishing. Uh, both now when we're doing a fish fighting screen, I can see there's another, there's a nicer one back there in that area. Uh, I, d I did that a couple times here, reeling in a smaller fish, kind of let me spot where there might be larger ones. But also just from the shore, it's a cloudy day today. It's not a sunny day. Maybe on a sunny day, you can see even better. The foggy day, I would probably just skip that. If you have a foggy day and you need to do some sight fishing, there is a one foot charm. But if you have a foggy day and you need to do some sight fishing, uh, you might want to just go to another level for a day and then try to come back the next day. So I can see there's another a little bit nicer one over here by these rocks. I'm trying to get down to it. I'm letting this spinner sink a little bit, so I'm not sure how much we'll see of that in this cut. But when you, when you let the sinker spinner land, it will sink down through the water column a little bit. And the longer you wait, the deeper it sinks. So... Where I see some of the smaller ones up near the top of the water and the bigger ones a little bit lower, I'm trying to let the, sink, the spinner sink down lower through those smaller ones that are up near the top. So you can see there's some that are quite at quite a depth there. Maybe if we were using the bobber and bait, I could set the bait way, way, way deep to uh, also get the bait down there to those fish. That is certainly something that's happened in real life uh, fishing stories with me in uh, freshwater places with lots of small pan fish up near the surface. Sometimes you need to really weight your, your bait down to get it to actually sink down deep enough uh, past the little things that are right at the surface. That's in kind of uh, heavy fishing pressure areas or where fish are, uh, are, are commonly feeding off the surface. So there was another one footer. Here we have one that we have hooked, and this one's going to go for a little run here down towards that waterfall. This is a pleasant level, but another short one. I have to, I have to say, even on a casual playthrough, the progress has been pretty fast through the game. Uh, as opposed to Real Fishing 2, where there's a lot more levels, at least uh, fr in the manual. There's a lot more levels, a lot more variety. And the challenge level's a little higher, I think, in Real Fishing 2. I've had to spend a little bit more time in those levels trying to meet the requirements in this game once i've got the feel for how to bring a fish in which took a little bit of practice i have to say in that first level with the pier uh, once i figured out how to keep a hook set 
strong in a fish and how not to snap my line. Once I got used to that, the playthroughs of these levels have been fairly, fairly quick. I wouldn't say disappointingly quick, but, um, you know, it's been, it's been satisfying to play through and unlock these next things. But uh, sometimes when you spend maybe 10 minutes on a level in real time, yeah, that might be a little bit less than uh, what we're supposed to do. Of course, I got very lucky with that splake in the Yamame Trout level of my very first cast on a rare fish like that. So this one, only a 10-incher. I left this fight in there so you could see kind of what uh, a normal, uh, regular length fight with a mature size char looks like. Here I'm doing some spotting, and I can see my target right down there. It might be hard to see um, on this capture, but it's, it's kind of almost right below me. So I'm trying to get this far enough out and then let it sink down a little bit and get moving so that I get the attention of just that fish. <laughs> I had the target set. It was right below my feet almost. And uh, we were ready to go with that one. So here we go. And that little harp jingle tells you that that is the day-winning fish. That is going to unlock the next level, which is the woods. We're going to be fishing for the Florida largemouth bass. So that's going to bring us to a close here as we hit the evening hour here at the Waterfall Basin. If you've been enjoying this series or you want to share a story about your own experience with this game, please let me know. You can do so by putting a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel. Let me know what they comment to this video and share with others who may have similar memories. Or hit me up on Twitter where I'm also active underscore ATE. We will see you next time.